What's going on, y'all? We back at it with another week recap. I can't do nothing but apologize, man. Like, this is extremely late. Uh, why does it light look like this? It's extremely late, bro. Um, definitely should have been had this out, like, literally by, uh, by Thursday. Uh, I didn't know that Thursday, like, until the day of, I forgot that Thursday was Thanksgiving Day. I said Thanksgiving. New Year's Eve. I forgot New Year's, New Year's Eve. Hold up. I'm trying to fix this. I forgot it was New Year's Eve. Um, mm, it's not right. It's not right. I'm going to turn this light off. Oh, uh, we'll just run with it. Yeah, I forgot it was New Year's Eve. Um, and uh, that's that, man. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I forgot it was New Year's Eve for Thursday. Then I was supposed to get on Twitch on Friday and Thursday. I forgot New Year's Eve. That's pretty much what it was. And then uh, Friday, just unexpected plans came into effect. But, you know, it's life. It's all good. But uh, we're going to jump to Twitch, y'all. Uh, recapping week 16. I actually recorded this video already. Well, I got 30 minutes into it. And then the computer crashed. So that's that. Um, we're gonna jump into it. Let me take this gum out of my mouth because it's not gonna work. Like I said, yeah, I apologize. I should have been had this out, bro. I really should have, but life is all I can say, you know, life. Um, life outside of YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But, um, let's jump into it. Starting off, recapping, we're gonna do Vikings versus Saints. This game felt so long ago at this point. Uh, Christmas, man, that's over a week now. That's over a week. So, uh, Alvin Kamara went off six touchdowns. Uh, I'm not gonna say too much about the Vikings, I'm not gonna really touch on the teams who didn't who are not making playoffs because you know I don't want to uh make this video longer than it has to be, but uh, I'm not gonna say too much about the Vikings. I expected them, expected them to score more, but it is what it is. Vikings are not a playoff team at this point, and Saints are. Bucks versus Lions. Bucks playoff team. Lions not. We're gonna leave it there. Uh I expected Matt Stafford to put up some points. Uh but hey, it is what it is. Uh I did see a comment saying that there were five coaches out due to COVID, which is wild. So I'm assuming that's that's partial to it. 49ers Cardinals. Uh Cardinals is looking so iffy. Just one of the most inconsistent teams, I feel like, because they have a lot of potential, but it's not really living up to it. 49ers, I think they would be a definitely good team next year. 49ers fans, y'all have something to look forward to, bro. I definitely do. Dolphins are uh, definitely going to be a good team next year. They might miss playoffs. Uh, we're going to see how it plays out with uh, Week 17, but they might miss playoffs. Uh, Raiders. That was a good game. That was probably one of the best games this year. That was probably one of the best games this year. I can't even put too much on Raiders. Um, John Gruden. I, I, I ain't going to say I'm going to save it. Ra Ravens and Giants. Ravens did what they were supposed to do. Chiefs, Falcons, Falcons played a good game. Uh, a good team, in my opinion, man. Very good team, but you know, they just don't live up to it. But it is what it is. Um, Chiefs did what they're supposed to do. Browns and Jets. Um, Browns had four. They're four starting, four top, top four receivers out. So I'm not faulting them in this one. Uh, if anything, faulting the Jets for them uh, messing up their odds to get Trevor Lawrence, but they. Apparently, they wasn't tanking. They just really lost those games this year. Bears and Jaguars. Uh, didn't expect that. I'm not going to say I didn't expect the Bears to win because I did, but I didn't expect it to be a blowout. I'll say that much. Uh, Bengals, Texans. Didn't expect that. Man, uh, I'm just looking forward to next year as a Texans fan, but I heard from the uh, – well, I saw a lot of stuff. Referring to the Bengals quarterback that he played well. Um, the Bengals are actually not a bad team. They're a bad team, but they're not a bad team. They got potential. Steelers, Colts. Uh, I ain't got too much to say about that one. Um, Steelers beat a playoff team, you know? I feel like these two teams low-key evenly matched. Uh, but, hey, Steelers getting back on track, if anything. Panthers versus Washington. Um... Dwayne Haskins played. No Alex Smith. Uh, I feel like Alex Smith gives Washington the best chance to win as of right now. And uh, if they want to win, they have to play him. You know? And I think he was injured, though. 
apparently he was injured, so I'm not gonna go, you know, can't do nothing about that. But the Panthers did play well. Uh, Teddy actually played pretty well in that game, so you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna come down on him too much, you feel me? But Teddy played well. Broncos, Chargers, uh, Justin Herbert, man. Uh, I really honestly don't remember how this game went too much. I really don't. I'm not. Uh, I remember at the end of it, I was like, that was exciting for two teams that, that are five and nine. I think I remember saying that. So it had to be a good game. I just don't remember exactly what happened in it. Eagles, Cowboys. Um, I thought the Eagles were going to put up a better fight than what they did. But hey, it is what it is. You can't, you know, Jalen, Jay, I think I think Eagles have something to look forward to next year. Uh, Cowboys as well, but uh, their team that needs some consistency. Um I ain't gonna touch them too much. They 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 had playoff hopes as of right now. Rams Seahawks. Uh, that was a good game, defensive game. It was just about who can make the most plays, and that's what Seahawks did. You know they didn't outscore them by that much, but they they did what they're supposed to. Um, in this situation, you know tonight get swept by the Rams. Uh, both teams, if I'm not mistaken, are uh, are both making the playoffs. So we gonna we gonna see how this plays out. Titans Packers definitely did not expect this. Out of all of these games, this is the one I, I least expected. Um, for the Titans to get blown out that bad, that's insane. Uh, especially considering the type of team they are. You know, we expect the playoff team, but uh, defense really was no help. And uh, they just couldn't establish anything. They couldn't get anything established on offense. Uh, Packers, Packers have a nice defense. So I'll say that. Bills Patriots. Uh, Bills did their thing. Um uh, you know, we're going to see what the pass through next year. All right. We're going to jump into the comments. Let's jump into the comments, y'all. Like I said, I'm trying to run through this. I got I got, I got to, let me see, what game did I get to? I read Vikings. I read Lions. I read Cards. I read Raiders. And I think that's where I stopped it. So, I'm going to just rerun through these. So, maybe some new comments popped up. So, for those of y'all who, you know what I'm saying, did comment something new, uh, I guess I'll get to see it. So this is the Vikings versus the Saints. It's crazy how Kamara scored 37 to 36 by himself and the Vikings only scored 33. Alexander said only. Vikings defense is so bad. Oh, my bad. He said only. Vikings defense is so bad. It's making our offense look bad. And that's the thing. It's good to have balance because if your offense is on the field too much, it could tire out your defense. If your defense is on the field too much, Wait, wait, I said that backwards. If offense is on the field too much, it can tire the offense. Defense on the field too much, it'll tire the defense. And you know, as a unit, if one is weak, then then the rest is weak. You know what I mean? Like if one fall, they all fall. Not that that's that's this better, better wording. Kings played the Rockets tonight. They played them in the back to back. Um, Kamara had 932 rushing yards this season, a career high. So he can get a thousand yards next game. I hope he does. That's only sixty-eight yards. I, ho I hope he get it. I hope. I hope Sean Sean Payton uh implements that into the game plan and uh they make that a goal for him. Hopefully it has. Hopefully they not you know what I'm saying shiesty and it's nothing dealing with contract and anything or bonuses and they don't want him to get it. I hope he gets it. Alvin Kamara is very underrated. Easily a top three running back. I can't argue with that. Uh, to each his own. Um, I read I read these already. I'll go through them again. People give him credit that he needed that he need. Just don't talk about him a lot, which I feel like is um uh, true. If you're a New Orleans fan or you are um a fan of any team in the NFC South, I'm sure you know this already. Though you know he doesn't get talked about like Nick Chubb, Dalvin Cook, and Derrick Henry. Um, I would say. Those probably are the top three running backs in the NFL. Like you, you name some good backs, and uh, that's probably the top three. Uh, but arguably, arguably, you could probably take one out and put um, put Kamara in. I think you got to leave Derrick Henry in. Honestly, I think Derrick Henry is an automatic top three back. Um, possibly top two, if not one. You know, I think he's just his resume over the past two seasons have definitely proved that. Um. Because he doesn't run as much as them, I'm a Bucks fan. He's top five, just not top three. Can't argue with that either. You know what I mean? I think at best, I mean at worst, Kamara is a top five running back. At worst, and there's nothing wrong with that. 
And but that's the, I'll say that this season because you know CMC was hurt and Saquon was hurt this year. So, and it's a lot of good running backs, man. A lot of good running backs. A lot. It's a lot. I love Nick Chubb, James Robinson, etc. But they're not better than Kamara when everyone is healthy. Cook and Henry are only the better. Okay, so I didn't read that comment. Okay, okay, and that's lucky what I said with Henry. Um, Cook, Cook as well. Cook as well. Um, but it, it, it's very much, it's very much so arguable. Very much so arguable. Kamara is a dominant running back. This is Kamara's only game where he had twenty plus carries all season. That, that that's that's I think a lot. This is a good conversation that y'all have. Like I, I look at um, when healthy Saquon is the best back in the league. Hey vibe, you, hey I ride with you on that one, bro. I would say CMC, but Saquon definitely two top two. And I hear that a lot with CMC. Um, personally, I would take Saquon, but at the end of the day, if you say CMC, I still respect it. That's just my that that would be my preference at top running back. I would definitely take Saquon, but. I have I have, I have no issue with that. CMC is CMC is CMC, bro. That's it. That's it. He 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 that dude. Drew Brees came back with a lot of rust. It didn't show in the highlights though. It was funny because I say it looked like Drew Brees. Came, he didn't come back with too much rust, and he almost threw a pick. Well, he threw him, but he got dropped. Kamara offensive player of the year. I don't know about that, bro. Just because, and I I, I might do this um after week seventeen, like my predictions for the awards. But I think Aaron Rodgers winning MVP and. If quarterbacks are playing that good, which they are this year, offensive player of the year is probably going to go to either. No, I, I, I'm going to get it. I said, no, nah, I'm going to get it. I think offensive player either going to. Okay, okay. Either Josh Allen or, or Pat Mahomes or Derrick Henry. Oh, you know it, you know it, I, and you know, you know what made me change my mind. But I still think it's going to a quarterback. But um, Merry Christmas, appreciate that, Todd. Appreciate that, Ryan. First grade, keep him up. Tsunami, my guy, Linda. I don't know what that is. AK forty one. Justin Jefferson only needs one hundred and eleven yards against the Lions to have the most receiving yards for a rookie receiver. I think he'll get it. I really do. Against the Lions, has he, didn't, didn't he toast them earlier this year? If I'm not mistaken. AK has this is what this is what made me think he has a chance at it. AK has 932 rush yards, 16 rushing TDs, 756 receiving yards, and five TDs. A total of 1688 yards and 21 touchdowns. 21 touchdowns, bro. That's that's crazy. It's crazy. He's definitely like a um it's a stretch. It's a big stretch, but I would say a bigger Darren Sproles. Like Darren Sproles was, was like an all-purpose type back. Lions versus Bucks is we gonna jump into next. Uh, Lions got smacked. Uh, nice video. Of my Bucks put a whipping on the Lions and make the playoffs. That shows that Matt Stafford is valuable. Definitely, I think he's a good quarterback, man. Didn't wait, 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 wait. Didn't he play in this game? Didn't he play in this game? Didn't Matt play? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, four. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse my, excuse my French. So Matt didn't play. All right, all right. Excuse me. I'm just waiting for Dolphins versus Raiders. Let me set the record straight. All NFL teams are professional ball players. Am I right? Tampa Bay, let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You are right. <laughs> it was a blowout. <laughs> Lions had five coaches out with COVID. Stars got injured in the first, and they had a few DBs out. Bucks would have won anyway. Blinds would have put up more points. I would expect that. I would expect that. There's, there's truth to that. Saints can't win three games against the Bucks. They won two in the regular season, but Brady postseason is flawless. And 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 you know, I'm looking forward to see that because I. I, I use this as an example all the time, but the Giants won two Super Bowls, nine and seven, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, correct me, but they won two Super Bowls with Eli Manning, and they were nine and seven. So um, it's not about how you perform in the regular season. It's more so how about you perform in the playoffs once you get there. You know, taking the most 
taking advantage of the opportunity and uh it's Tom Brady. And considering that the weapons that he has, uh, I think they can do a lot. Only thing probably be iffy is the fact that they have a young secondary, but with the offense they have and the front seven that they have, they they you know, we'll see. We'll see. I ain't gonna I ain't go I'm not gonna boost them up too much because anybody can lose, but anybody can win as well. So we'll see when the playoffs come. I don't see Packers as Super Bowl contenders. I feel like they're beatable with their run defense. The Buccaneers beat them 38 to 10 earlier in the season. Eight. The Saints, Bucks, and Rams will beat the Packers. It's, it's it's weird though because Bucks blew out the Packers. Saints blew out the Bucks. And Packers beat the Saints. I don't really feel like Rams in that conversation. Rams got potential to be anybody, but they got potential to lose to anybody. After losing to the Jets, bro, they got potential to lose to anybody. But I felt like that prior to that, though. I really did. I didn't really see them like that. You know what I mean? I didn't see them like I saw Saints, Bucks, and Rams. But I and I know I know Bucks have L's on a on a on a record, and the Saints do, and Packers, but. I, I see those three teams as the top three teams. Uh, Packers have, have had an easy schedule as well. Agree. They beat Titans shut down hearing today, but that's only because Titans always play bad in the snow. See, I didn't know that. Playoff game in Lambeau would be tough, to, tough though. Hopefully, no snow. Um, they got to adjust then, you know. That's just what comes down to it. You got to adjust. Either you, either you got it or you don't. Stafford deserves a better team. Bucks beat a losing team. Wow, a professional football team. Bucks also beat down the Packers. Isn't that what good teams do? Be beat bad teams. You get out of here. I feel like y'all was on the same side. I don't know. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. It was so amazing when the Chiefs destroyed the Jets. Okay. I I I. Cart bro. Let's take a moment though. This literally was the most views I ever got in a week, bro. Like, for those of y'all who do keep up with the channel, bro, y'all know I haven't got this many views in a week, bro. 3K, 2.7K, 1.7K, 2.2K, 2.1K, 1.5K, 2K, 4.3K, 5.3K, 3K. 1.6k and that's just on games like it's not even including the views from the other miscellaneous videos bro so i can't you know what i'm saying i appreciate y'all most definitely hitting that like button you know what i'm saying it helps me go up an algorithm and it helps me get recommended to other people and uh like from what i've been hearing from a lot of people that's pretty much how they've been finding me through through being suggested through their recommending like i said the, the like button helps me go up an algorithm and helps the channel grow like i always say and you know it reaches other people and uh it's, it's you know i appreciate y'all man cardinals versus buccaneers uh let's see let's see I'm glad to see where the spoon is back in the form. Wasn't he playing bad last year? If I'm not mistaken, y'all let me know. But uh, if he can play consistent, that man has a lot of potential. He got a lot of potential. So if he can play consistent, I, I, I'd love to see it. Oh, my gosh. I thought my computer crashed again, bro. All right. Uh, I think I was talking about Witherspoon. Okay, so Witherspoon, yeah. Uh, Jason Verrett locked up Hopkins. Uh, most definitely. Jason Verrett definitely has some good plays, at least from what I saw from the highlights. Bro, bro, bro did his thing. He did his thing. For real, man. He did. He did good. A lot of reactions, but these boss are on YouTube not. Yeah, too fast. I be I be trying to I be trying to stay on them, but can't stop him. Eventually, eventually the ratio of the of the comments from the uh, from the community from the channel is gonna I mean, and it already does outratio the bots, but still, you know, it is what it is. Can't control it. I, all I can do is just delete them when they pop up. Fred Warner, Jeff Wilson, and Jason Verrett, players of the game. Most definitely. Jason just, you know, man, just, just sticking with D-Hop, you know, taking on that task. Fred Warner being everywhere. And then Jeff Wilson just, 
Me and Jeff Wilson, man. He he he's lucky a good running back. 49ers, 49ers, um, they're gonna be a place where running backs go to and they go get big contracts elsewhere. That's why I think, you know, because they use every running back on the roster and just rotate in there. You know what I'm saying? So everybody you, you go to you go to the Fortnite, you get an opportunity to eat. Spoon too. Who is Spoon? Greenlaw showed up too. Bro said F it the whole Niners defense. Niners be coming for your head top next week. Go Hawks. Hey, let's see about that. Let's see about that. Now the Bears have seven seed. Cardinals just choke. Did you watch Dolphins and Raiders game? Ending was crazy, most definitely. Eldon, uh, thanks for letting us most letting us know most likely make the playoffs. I appreciate it. Hey man. That definitely was a good game. Put a fork in the car, stay done. They still they still uh, got playoff hopes, but uh how realistic they are, we shall see, you know. We and we're gonna see in week seventeen. AFC North been better than the NFC West. Best division in football. I can I can agree with that this year, bro. I can agree with that this year. NFC West still somewhat competitive, but uh um not not to the extent that I expected, you know. Uh it's gonna be even wilder next year once Jimmy G come back and the 49ers are healthy. It's gonna be wild. Um wild wild west, man. 49ers kicker was trying his hardest to sell the game. Your brother said, LOL, he wanted that top 10 pick. Hey, if y'all, if y'all not making the playoffs, go ahead and get that, get that pick. Tell coach, you know what I'm saying? Throw a little extra, throw a little extra bonus money on my check. Hey. All right, we got Raiders versus Dolphins. 46 comments, oh my gosh. Bro, fins up, I almost lost my voice, bro. Fist magic, fist magic, man. That was the craziest stuff I seen in a while. Most deaf, most deaf. That, I, I can't think of any like anything similar. Um, oh, besides uh, DeAndre Hopkins catch. As of right now, I could say the Bills, Cardinals, Raiders, Dolphins, and Browns, Ravens are the top three games this year. Definitely, definitely top three i i'd have to look through to see what what, what else would would, would get in that conversation but those top three i lost my voice when i saw this play fins up Devontae hurt that's why he don't get targets um i was talking about Devonte booker when i said Devonte. i was talking about him and um him and josh jacobs splitting carries but it's all good though bro bro i'm lit right now i can't believe this happened this is unbelievable this game was nuts Underrated, just like flight reacts. Appreciate you, my guy. It's all good. Love your personality, bro. For sure, subscribe and appreciate the sub, bro. Much love, much love. Raiders beat Chiefs and then dip. <laughs> hey, hey, for real though. For real though. Raiders said, mission complete. That was beautiful. It definitely was. It definitely was. It was. He fits magic. That's, you know, he. Can't replicate that, bro. A face mask on top of a 34-yard pass to put you in position to kick the game winning field goal. Gruden should have had him score the TD at the end. Instead, JJ slid. Uh, I mean, you know, you really can't judge it because what if that pass? You know, what if what if Gruden never would have got um his face mask pulled and that pass would have been an interception? You know. And we would have been saying Gruden made a good call. He just made the call that he felt was the best in that in that decision at that time. At the moment, I thought they should have scored two, you know. And uh, I I I agree with you, but like I said, he just made the call that he felt was the best at the time. He felt that he can kick the field goal and his defense could get a stop, and he just wanted to waste time on the clock, you know. But it played out how it played out. That's just it, bro. Ref gave the game, ref gave the Raiders the game anyway. Bro said, who cares? You act like refs don't rob. Ref, refs play. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna touch on it too much. I ain't gonna touch on it. That's why it's called Fish Magic. Nasty Fish Magic. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Thanks, Raiders, y'all. <laughs> Ravens and Browns fans both at least agree right now that Raiders are trash. Only team to beat the Chiefs. We just need to change something about black about the back half of the season um 
They need consistency, period, bro. Not even just the back half. It was the beginning of the season. I still wasn't even sold on them. They had games where they looked good, but I wasn't sold on them. Um, and that's not like I, I even said that in my prediction videos from like the beginning of the season. I was like, they they look okay, but I'm not sold on them. So I'm not saying that now just because they got knocked out the playoffs. I was saying that at that time. So it was just they they need consistency, man. Consistency and a, a good defense. Damon Arnett ain't know how to play Tampa two. To, he blew that play. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Sell Arden Key for a bag of chips. Arden Key. Ain't Arden Key a rookie? That's two rookies, right? Refs gave the game. Raider trash. It ain't piss magic for no reason. The Raiders face mask. He was, yeah, I, I got you, bro. I got you on that. Dolphins win 90% of their game from their defense. That's facts. Tua does a great job of just not making mistakes. Hey, you know what, bro? I said this about um, Tua and uh, and Fitz. It was a comparison in a sense because I said this about, even though this totally different situation, but I said it about um, Cam Newton and Josh Allen. Two similar quarterbacks, but Cam more of a risk taker. I want to say gunslinger, but he's more of a risk taker and a gunslinger than Josh Allen. You know, Josh Allen does have a bigger, a bigger arm, but Josh is more conservative. And I feel like he makes smarter choices, but Cam will take risk. And that's why Cam those picks. Um, and it's the same situation, I feel like, with Fitz and Tua. Uh, similar games. Both QBs are mobile. Both QBs aren't just the tallest QBs, but... Um, one is more conservative and one is more of a risk taker, you know? And uh it's, it's just just a similar situation. Uh Fitzpatrick on the other hand, he could drive the the ball. He can drive down the field and look like Mahomes some games, but there's fifty fifty shot that he'll throw three interceptions. Yeah. He he'll he'll sling it, that's for sure. He definitely will. So it makes a ton of mistakes though. It isn't really safe with the ball either. He just had crazy luck with drop picks this year. I'd have to I'd have to see some more of those the drop picks. I'd have to see like uh like actual you know proof. Not saying that you lying, bro, at all. Just I'd I'd have to see it cause it's not something I really pay attention to that often. Tsunami say nothing. <laughs> Tsunami say nothing but pain. Y'all yeah, weren't making playoffs anyway, but at least the Ravens had a chance before that. Hey man. So what did what did Auden Key do? What did what did he do? Wasn't that Damon Arnett? Like so that was Auden Key and Damon Arnett. That that combo that was a safety in, in corner. Hey man, it, 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 it was tough for y'all. I know, I know, I understand, I understand. To lose a game like that, that, that sucks. Jags versus Bears, one fifty seven. Give it to David. No reason to do that crap. Oh, when they when they ran it with, you know, at the goal line, yeah, that was like, bro, David is having a good season. Like, why, 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 why do we not give it to David? Let me see, bro, my headphones not even plugged in. What the heck? Whole time, look at me. <laughs> yeah, that was that play on the, on the goal line. Um. Just, yeah, they should, definitely should have just gave it to David, bro. What was DJ Chark doing? <laughs> oh, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. He was wild, man. That's what you're doing. You Steelers. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Appreciate you, Augusto. You deserve much sub. It's all. Hey, it's 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 bro. When I tell you, it's growing, like. I'm appreciative, bro. Trust me. It's, it's growing way more than it did last year, bro. Like, at, the, at this time last year, bro, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Commentator was on the Jags' head. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they, they are inside. They're inside the field goal range you want to press up at least try to get a wow you gonna let them kick a field goal that's how you know jags are tanking bro 
uh, you know, I'm not gonna even say that, but that yeah, it, it did make no sense. You should react to Packers, the game was a project. Yeah, it definitely did. Yeah. Oh, I seen it. Yeah, I seen it. They re, uh, read mean tweets. I saw that. This is still bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's an issue at the Packers Titans. That game definitely surprised me. Definitely. Mary said outstanding. Outstanding indeed. For the Bears. Oh man, see this this these bots, man. Let's see. Report. I want the commercial content or spam. Alright. Seahawks Rams. It's okay. The Jaguars are now 13 and 1. I like I like your perspective. Can you do Dolphins Raiders, Ravens, Giants? The Jackson QB is forced to tank so they can draft the yeah, year, man. They aren't being forced to. They want to win. I'm sure the players want to win. But like I'm sure the front office is telling them like it, it I mean this is only this only makes sense to me and it, it's just as a speculator bro um front office is asking the coaches who who do you feel like gives us the best chances to lose games and the coach is like well, this quarterback play him you know what I mean I could be wrong though I could be wrong but like it just it doesn't make it just doesn't make sense to me why they never play Gardner Minshew when he when he was healthy, you know. Like the quarterbacks that they were playing, you telling me that, that Gardner Minshew was worse than them. I don't agree with that. But it is what it is. Falcons versus Chiefs. I'm gonna jump to Seattle versus twenty twenty. Yeah, I did that one. After this game, I think Aaron Rodgers deserves MVP because Patrick was very sloppy. He almost threw three picks. It was somebody I heard uh, saying this. I forgot on what sports show, but he was saying that he feels the Chiefs have been more creative and have been trying more plays. And I see that a little bit because when the last time we saw Pat Mahomes go out there and run a route at wide receiver, and he actually he did decent, just the ball was a little bit too far over, you know. But, uh, at the same time, it is what it is. Um, I think they try stuff because they have the luxury to try stuff. And, you know, just like Big Ben, Big ben said, it's not about winning every game. It's about winning the Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, I, I don't. I think their focus is to win every game, but their focus is also to win the Super Bowl. So, you know, while we have the luxury to try stuff, you know, let's, let's, let's experiment a little bit, you know. How did they lose it? Cause you know, if 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 the, I feel like if the if the Chiefs ran their bread and butter, you know, as 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 solid of a team I think the Falcons are, if the Chiefs kept it simple, you know what I mean, probably would have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know everything for real. So like he he could have been speculating as well, but I I I kind of see what he was saying. So I'm gonna leave it there. How did they lose it? You got to intercept that. Oh, the one he, oh, the interception he dropped. Okay, okay. I really think if Sneed wasn't injured, he would win defensive rookie of the year because he'd be playing good in every game he played. Sneed, since week one, bro, he was nice. Hey, hey I, I did a, uh, a draft recap. I think I'm going to post that at the end of the year. You should, like, repost it. Um, Like a throwback. Uh, I think I'm going to repost it. But... It was pretty much my thoughts on the rookies this year. So I think that'd be cool because then everybody who didn't see those videos would give the insight on my thoughts about those players before they even stepped onto the field. And I think, I think actually I like Sneed before he even, um, before he even, uh, you know, came into the league. I like just watching, I, I, if I watch his highlights, I don't know, bro, but I like, the, I like the draft of him. I thought he was a safety at first, but I think he played some safety in college. And I was like, bro, they drafted a 4-3 safety. Like, anyways, 
Um, Rams versus Seahawks, Cowboys. A Rod deserves MVP. Chiefs defense has been cooking these last three weeks. Travis Kelsey broke Kittle's record for most receiving yards by a tight end. Them two dudes, man. They 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 um prolific, man. I think the last best duo of tight ends was uh Jimmy Graham and Gronkowski. And Gronkowski still got it, in my opinion. I I'm like, I would say 100 percent I say 95%. I, I, I feel that. But who do y'all think truly can beat the Chiefs? Cause it's not like Cause it's like it's not that if the Chiefs can score, it's a matter of when the Chiefs can score. Yeah, it's it's some truth. It's some truth to that. It's some truth to that. Anybody can be beat though, bro. It's it's about you know, it's about matchups. But I feel like if anything, if I who, who I'd have to say got the best shot would probably be uh the Bills. And this is an AFC Bills. Dolphins in the playoffs. Bills, Dolphins, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably Bills and Dolphins matchup wise, but other than that, I, I'm not 100% sure. But Chiefs, Chiefs do have the best odds to win the Super Bowl. That's 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 for sure. Most definitely. Um. As a Falcons fan, we fought hard. Most definitely. Most definitely. Uh, Falcons, Falcons not a bad team, in my opinion. Falcons have the third pick now. Myself and a bunch of other NFL experts see the Jets taking a quarterback. Talking a quarterback. I have not no idea who the Jets take. Falcons could have Russo, Wilson, Fields. Do you think the Falcons are going to draft a quarterback? It's not like quarterback is the issue, though. Like, do you really think so? I don't think quarterback is the issue. Like they have a quarterback, you know. Like what? Do, I don't know what the issue is. I would say coaching, because you have a lot of good players. Maybe maybe defense. Maybe they can stack up the defense a little bit more. Facts about if they get a good coach. Yeah, I feel like they have. A, I feel like they have a solid team. <sighs> this game. <laughs> uh, it's unfortunate that Brandon Island outplayed Deshaun Watson. Also, Samaj Perine was great. Samaj was great. Uh. Texas run defense is just trash though. I'll keep it a buck with you, bro. Not not no no discredit to somebody, but they run defense. Ugh. Back to Ravens Giants. 10 05. Go out of bounds and get Watson to throw a 60 yard bomb. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Go out of bounds and get Watson to throw a 60 yard bomb. Dan, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm missing. I'm I'm missing something right here, bro. I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm missing something right here, bro. Yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna leave that there. We gonna leave that there. Um. David Johnson played excellent for the first time this season, bro. For real. Yeah, Mark. Thanks for the pick. <sighs> what pick? We talking about me picking the Texans? Who they beat the Bengals? I'm for the Chief. My boy at 4K. Yes, sir. For sure, RP. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I watch this game just like you. Don't act surprised by watching the highlights. And oh, who they... My guy, he think I watched the game, bro. Hey, bro, I was on stream. It, for, for those of y'all who think I'd be watching the game, I was on stream during the games. So I was live on Twitch playing Madden with subs. So there's no way I could be. And I'm entered like. You like the, the second or third person to say this, bro. Like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have no reason to lie about nothing like that. Like I say, if I if the game is spoiled, I don't watch the games, bro. I don't have. It is what it is. My favorite team versus yours. Good game, though. Hope Joe Burrow gets better. Hey, <laughs> you got the Illuminati uh, thing. Thanks, bro. Hey, man. Yeah, hope Joe. Hope Joe, bro. They're gonna they're gonna be nice next year. They're gonna be nice next year. 
Us Ravens coming for your head next weekend, bro. We want that win. I mean, if y'all lose, that's sad. Most death. What surprised me since the Bengals beat the Steelers? Not making no promises, though. Poor Joe. Ah, we lost. If you saw his Twitter, he's doing pretty well. Now, on, on the real, though, um, on the real, though, Bengals going to be nice next year. If not nice, like, they're going to be. Nah, I think they're going to be nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think AJ Lee. I think AJ might be leaving though. So that's that's gonna be an L. That's gonna be a loss. I'm not gonna lie. But they still got T Higgins and Tyler Boyd. So I mean, it's it's okay. But at the same time, that's a that's a big L for that receiving core. We don't protect Watson at all. Literally, bro. Bingo strike again. They did what they did, man. They did what they did. Steelers and Colts suck. A great game. Nathan. We don't have a first rounder, bro. He won't be on the board that late. Yeah, you think y'all getting third or fourth pick, but y'all traded it. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, y'all don't have a first or a second round pick. I forgot Miami had their pick. That's not our starters offensive line. I think he meant starters. People act like Texas needs to go on a full rebuild. That's not the case. It's not the case at all, bro. This was just a rough year because of the coaching change and injuries and suspicious. If they can hit in free agency and draft, the thing is we're not going to be able to hit a free agency unless we let go of JJ. Because we owe JJ $17 million, but it's not guaranteed. So we can cut him and owe nothing. So we kind of screwed. We don't, have, we don't really have that much money in free agency. So I don't know what we're going to do. Like, I really don't. We just got to bounce back somehow. Our starter O-line, left guard, and right guard been hurt for 10 games. And Laramie Tunsil have a high ankle sprain and Titus Howard. Oh, my gosh. Our O-line is depleted. Okay. I had no idea about that. I had no idea about that. Everything other than their quarterback is in need. That defense is absolutely horrible, too. May Brandon Allen look like Pat Mahomes because injury. We had nine defensive starters out for the last 10 to 13 games. Like, on paper, Texas look nice. Like, we got some good players. But, like, you educate me about my own squad, bro. Appreciate the comments because um, I didn't know that. Like, I'll be watching every game. So, it's like I don't be tuned in to the Texans as much as I used to be. I'll say that because I'm, I'm reacting to every single team. So, I'm kind of trying to tune in to every team. We got Colts versus Steelers. It was an okay game. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it went just, you know, it didn't do all that for me, but it was okay. Refs cheating or not, we still let them come back, so it doesn't matter. Great reaction. Can't believe we came back and won. Appreciate your mystic. I know, right, Valerie? We're a fourth quarter team. They did their thing, bro. Um, it was like I said, it was an alright game. Why does everyone say that wasn't the block in the black back? You can clearly see him pushing. I remember say, seeing somebody about a block in the back. Hey, next time, bro, if you do see something like that, um, I'd appreciate it if you uh, leave a, a timestamp because I, I remember, I remember, like, I know what you're talking about, but I just can't, like, remember exactly what play it was because I remember seeing the play and I was like, bro, that doesn't look like a block in the bag. Like, I remember, I remember saying something like that. Yo, what's good, bro? Okay. So are, are are we going to that same park? Or are we going somewhere over there? Okay, okay. David coming too. All right, that's a bit, damn, bro. All right, all right. Yeah, just whenever you uh, whenever you heading out, just just let me know. Okay. All right, bro. All right. Okay. Like I said, Colts versus Steelers. Um, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And just, you know, future preferences, bro. You know, if you do stick around the channel and you see something, you know, that you would like to leave a comment on, I appreciate it if you leave a timestamp. Just so, just so you know, I know, you know, what's going on. Um, he said, y'all blind or went to Steelers to lose that bad? Uh, nah, I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, lucky. I was lucky rooting for the Steelers, bro. I wanted them to have a, a, a perfect season, but, and I picked them the past three weeks. That they lost all three games in a row on my on my predictions. I picked them every week, and they let me down every week. So I, I, I was lucky, you know, expecting them to win. But it is what it is. 
bro talking more than actually react to the videos a little miss a couple of plays you know bro I, when i'm looking back at the videos i'll be thinking that too and i'm like bro i need to look at the chat list so i actually appreciate what's going on in the video because I, I started noticing that in some of my reactions i'd be like bro i'm not paying attention and even when i'm playing madden on stream i'd be like bro i'm, I'm talking i'm paying attention to the chat a little too much i need to focus on playing the game you know taking ills and, and whatnot but I'm, 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 I'm gonna take that into account bro most definitely sucks they had to play with two backup tackles then when one of them went down a practice squad guy had to play oh the Colts. okay yes sir best reactor on youtube appreciate you still city Seahawks Rams Steelers come back just to probably lose in the first round. I don't, I don't, I don't. Brody, Brody, Miami. Who are you, bro? Who are you? I know you be in a Twitch stream because you told me, you told me your your that your YouTube channel is Miami Dolphins, bro. I gotta figure out. But nah, bro. I don't I don't think they lose in the first round. Nah, nah. I don't think so. As a Colts fan, that was low key the worst. Regular Susie and Lost, I can remember in the past five years. That's tough. The worst in five years, bro. I can't blame the refs since it went both. Oh, they did come back. They did come back on them. It was like, that was like down like 20, 24 to something. I mean, it was up 24, 24, three or something like that. But it was so frustrating to see big plays getting caught back because of 50 50 call. Naheem High shines run that A Hall even said wasn't a penalty. Also, Tony on Claypool, 904 when there's a ref right there. I, I, you know, I seen it. I was like, I ain't gonna say nothing. Like, the refs ain't saying nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. But I was like, I was, I was lucky. I was lucky thinking that. I was lucky thinking. Yeah, I was lucky thinking that. But I mean, it was what it was. You know, that that was a little, a little childish. I ain't gonna lie. I love Wright as a coach, but why did we abandon the run game in the second half when we had the lead and Taylor was hot? They, yeah, they diff, bro. Hey, you got two good running backs. You got two good running backs. Use them. Even if, even just to get them hot, even if you got to just do check downs and use them in the pass game, just to get them hot, you know what I'm saying? And in and, and, and return, it'll open up the playbook for big plays down the field, which they, which they do get those uh, sometimes. Our defense got soft in the second half and probably and got in the second half and got too grabby. I don't know where I read probably it. I want to see this matchup again in the playoffs. This would be a good matchup in the playoffs. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, Cause it was it was actually a solid game. It was a solid game. I think these two teams match up well, so we don't have to rely on our fourth and fifth in this game. Eventually, six string tackles against the best front seven in the NFL. It was up, bro. All right, that's a bit. That's a bit. I'm gonna uh, put some on. All right, bro. All right, all right. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'm finished this in time. That's the plan, though. Last year should have been an embarrassing loss for y'all, too. You lost Mason and Minka and had that long defensive touchdown. Colts haven't beat the Steelers since 2008. I mean, we had Brian Hoyer at QB, so, and we only lost because of Vinatieri. He kept shaking kicks. Vinatieri, man. Right after Steelers knocked out Brissett, Hoyer is better than Mason Rudolph. It's all good, dude. Yeah, that was Nelson stepped on him. I doubt that Hoyer is better than Rudolph. I guess we have a different version of that. Camp Hayward, actually. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I, I, I would read that, bro, but I got to go. So I'm going to try to speed through this. I'm trying to speed through this. But you know what I'm saying? Good combo, good combo. Colts might not make the playoffs. Colts might make playoffs, though. Thank you for freezing up on me, man. Course might not make playoffs. Course might make playoffs, though. Uh, we got two sides to the coin here. Cowboys, please see what happens when you let Ben throw the ball deep. Fincher, Fishner. I I heard they let I heard they let Ben call the plays in the second half. Like that's wild. I mean that's a good thing, but like I, like to to Ben on his Ben on his Peyton Manning. You know what I'm saying? Like like he's out coaching the coach right now. You feel me? Unsung hero. Ryan Kellerman. This 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 name looks familiar. Okay, okay, no more. I thought you were like a famous YouTuber, but it's okay. It remind me of somebody else's name. Alex Highsmith. Dude had pressure of Phil to release multiple. Bro, I did not 
and you know i'm looking forward to to, to posting my uh i'm gonna repost my draft recaps that i posted at the beginning of the uh, of the of the season because i low-key wasn't high on them picking alex highsmith but he's actually playing pretty pretty good so that's dope to see refs cheated you have actually had to watch the real game okay TJ Watt got choked out every snap. I don't want to hear it and then get called. It was bad on both sides holding. It was probably just a physical game. You know, like I said, these two teams, in my opinion, are, are very, very well matched up. <laughs> ah, it was up 24-7, bro. That's low-key tough. I'm biased, but Colts got cheated. You're up 24-7. I ain't got to say. I, 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 I low-key want to read this, bro. But like I said, I got to go. Where am I, bro? I'm not, I'm not far. Oh my gosh, I have a lot to go. I have a lot to go. Okay. So I'm at Giants Ravens. When I come back, this is about to be this is about to be a long video, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here. And then when I come back, I'm gonna finish out. I gotta continue at Giants Ravens. Okay, back at it by like I don't even know how many hours. I think like three hours later. Um what time I what time? About three, god dang. Um, I right, saw so Giants versus the Ravens. Let's jump into it. Uh unsung hero Marlon Humphrey had his receiver covered 99% of the game and had some pass deflections. Queen also had a good game. They didn't get showed up. He looked more comfortable in coverage this game. Queen also reached a hundred tackles, so he a hundred tackles as a rookie. Um I, I I like the fact that they have a I think Queen and um what's the other the other linebacker it, I think both both rookie linebackers are starting if I'm not mistaken uh, I'm scared of the Ravens they they got potential bro when it, once they get in the playoffs like because this in my opinion this team this year is better than the team last year they just I feel like the league pretty much has them figured out offensively. That's why they've um, lost so many games. But personnel-wise, I think this is a better team than it was last year. So once they get into the playoffs, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a you know different routine. It's gonna be a little bit more dangerous for other teams. Um, Gus Warren, <laughs> that's funny. Hey Gus, what's the outro song? It's in the bio, bro. Um, it's in I mean it's in the description. Jackson, yo, RP, what's good, bro? What's good, what's good? Browns versus Jets. My friend here, Jets, he's already taken it. He's cracked the football, my guy. Uh, what? Jets looking nice. Maybe they get Sertan. A cornerback in the first round for the Jets. You think so? We'll see. I'm speechless. Jets Super Bowl bound next year. Last time they just did that, it didn't really work out. I mean, the last one that they had that was good was Darrell Revis. But uh, the last time they did that, it didn't really work out. We'll see the Jets Super Bowl bound next year. Please, Seahawks versus Rams. We had one job, then we choked. It also doesn't help that we had two offensive linemen out, two linebackers out, and four of our... That was the biggest one, bro. The four starting receivers. Still should have won. I can see the argument if they played a good Jets defense is not that good. Nah, bro. If a team loses their starting four receivers, like these dudes, the four, that's, I feel like if, if the Browns had they had their people, they, they would have whooped the Jets, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, bro. Because it's four. You're starting four receivers like that's that's so much chemistry just out the door like that's 90 90 percent 99 percent of your snaps like the guys who play the regular snaps only guy who is good in the secondary is may the safety corners are unproven rookies and the other safety is a scrub the best uh i hear you bro but i i, I definitely don't think they would have won if the Browns had had their had their people. Herbert broke rookie rec, rookie touchdown record. You know, it's not even that big news. You know, in my opinion, it's not. But he doing his thing definitely. He got he got rookie of the year locked up for sure. The Chargers are low key nice, low key. 
I thought it was going to be better than they were. Like, than they are starting the season off. Can't blame this one on Drew Locke. Judy had five drops this game and that one for a TD. Five drops. That's tough. Chargers are going to be really nice next year. Hopefully, if we fire the coaches. I mean, yeah, that probably is an issue because they got talented players. So, I mean, if anything, it, it got to be coaching. Like, that's the only other thing it can come down to. If it's not... If it's not the players, which they have good players, it's coaching. Ty, me and you had the same birthday. Team Leo, you feel me? I see ya, bye. I just went to this one. Ram Seahawks. This one got 4K, god dang. Uh, Seattle's defense has really stepped up these past weeks. I honestly think they're Super Bowl contenders if they stay consistent. Go Hawks. Uh, everybody been saying the funniest part of the video, I lost my AirPod. Next part of the video, I found it. That was uh to be honest <laughs> to be honest better love story than Twilight. Who that was that was Sparks. Where is it? Hey, somebody drop a timestamp for that. I remember that. Where it where that it, bro? Oh my gosh. Hey, hey. Saints organization should be deleted from wow. From history for letting Jerry Goff even get close to a Super Bowl. Saints just have man, you having the worst luck. Jordan Brooks played a hell of a game. This kid is coming up clutch. Um, when they drafted him, I didn't I didn't really know too much about him, but you know, Pete Carroll picking the linebacker in the first round. I I, I would uh first I think he was drafted in the first round, right? But um. I, I had to trust it. P. Carroll is a good coach, in my opinion. I feel like he knows how to draft. I think he knows how to draft pretty well. Wasn't he picked in the first round? I hope I'm not wrong. Just found you, dude. I like this content. Appreciate you, my guy. We won. Let's go. Yeah, but our O line got bullied, and they probably had like 20 pressures. Hey, man. But when you're going against Aaron Donald, that's expected, honestly. Like, he going to set the tone, and then the, the rest of the defense going to. I follow his lead. What they didn't show was golf breaking his thumb on the defender's helmet and snapping it back into place. So that means he dislocated it if he snapped it back into place. Because you can't break it and snap it back into place. Because you're just going to break it more, right? So, but people were saying he broke it. So, I mean, I don't know. That's weird. That'd be weird because I don't think you can snap it back into place as well. Yo, this fire. Appreciate it, Zay. Let's get another uh, Legion of Boom going. I don't know if you can replicate that, bro. That was that was that was legendary for real. bro. Keep going, big dog. Appreciate you, Victor. You live out the best part of this game. That goal line stand, or did I miss it? He only showed the fourth and goal. Did I? Ah, my bad, y'all. My bad, my bad. That's tough. That's tough. Um, I, I the thing is, like sometimes I get caught up talking to the chat and i look at the chat and then i'll miss something so since i didn't react to that specific part i'll probably take it out the video so i'm trying to like look at chat less and yeah keep grinding bro appreciate it deuce fix your smoke detector bro the battery is dying bro you know how many times i do this like a year like if you will go through my old videos like people say this so many times bro like it's crazy but Appreciate you for looking out, my guy. Bro, I don't care. We're top defense. I honestly think we can shut down anyone. Hey, man. We're going to see, RP. We're going to see. The last... I, I, here, I go, here I go at the defense, man. The last seven to eight weeks, the Seahawks have been in the top three in every defensive category. They were just bad to begin the season that our overall numbers still look bad. Okay, okay. Rams might not make the playoffs. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, they still they still got a shot. I can't can't really uh can't knock them right now. This man know what you talking about. I try, man. I try. I didn't care if he was really unsung, but KJ Wright had a great game. KJ has had his best season unsung. Putting up forward. What is what is this? What is that? Because I have no idea what that is. Seahawks defense is tied first since week ten. Like I said, bro, I mean, that is, that, that's, that's a long time. I'd have to see their opponents, number one, and I'd have to see, I'd have to see, um, 
let me see. I'd have to see the opponents, and I just I feel like I gotta see it in the playoffs, man. Seahawks schedule. All right, so in the last ten weeks, so we gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they played the Cardinals. They allowed 37 points to the Cardinals. 27 to the Niners. 44 to the Bills. Am I missing something here? Well, you said since week 10, not last 10 weeks. I'm tripping. Apologies, apologies. Okay. So this 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, so Rams, and they lost to the Rams, though. Beat the Cards. Cards, Cards is a, it, they not really, they, they're an iffy team. I wouldn't, I, you know what I mean? Cards is iffy. Uh, they inconsistent. Eagles, inconsistent. Giants, inconsistent. Jets, inconsistent. Washington have no offense. Rams, that was a good game. That's it. That's it. Nah, I'm not giving them credit for that, bro. I'll be honest with you. Cardinals have been inconsistent on offense, bro. It just is it's it's screen to DeAndre, screen to DeAndre. Um they just been up and down. Uh Eagles. Giants. Jets. Washington. Rams is I, I give the Rams the second game. I give them that's that's their best performance, but Like I said, I, I, I got to see it in the playoffs, bro. I understand where y'all coming from, but I got to see it in the playoffs. Hey, bro, look at the stats. We aren't allowing. If you don't commentate, know the facts. We rank five now. Y'all rank. They rank the fifth defense. I was, I'll see. I'm supposed to check these at the uh, at the end, but I'm going to check this right now. NFL team stats. I'm going to check it right now. I'm tired. That's why I put it like that. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to go defense. Total yards a game. Total yards a game. Seattle is all the way. Look at, bro, Seattle is all the way at the bottom. What are you talking about? Seattle has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tenth worst. Tenth worst. Uh, passing yards because that's what I was talking about earlier as well. Seattle allowed the most passing yards. All right, I'm looking at ESPN, so we're gonna go to NFL because sometimes ESPN is, is uh is wrong. Sometimes ESPN is wrong. So we, we're NFL defense, passing defense, yards. Seahawks worst passing defense. What are you talking about, bro? You told you said y'all fifth. Uh, can I see overall defense? I don't know, but anyways, are you a Hawks fan? Nah, I'm not a Hawks fan. I like the Hawks though, but like when I like if when I speak on the team, like I speak on from what I'm seeing every week. You know what I mean, like. Like I just said, like the teams that they played it, I could see if they played the Packers, the Chiefs, the Saints, the Bucks, the I ain't gonna say the Texans, but the Texans put up a lot of yards. The Falcons, you know what I mean? The Chargers, teams who put up a lot of yards. I could see if they played them, but they played Washington, the Jets, the Cardinals. I mean, Cards are Cards car, are definitely a talented team, and I'm not trying to knock them. But like I said, like I'm just justifying my opinion. And that's just I gotta see it in the playoffs, bro. That's uh more Swain. Swain is the tight end, right? You go ahead, appreciate it, TJ. Like your video, bro. Just subscribe. Appreciate you, appreciate you, Sean. Uh let's go. Hawks one. I subscribe. I appreciate you, Geo. I think he was on the Twitch too, if I'm not mistaken. Seattle dominated the majority of the game. Definitely, and I say in this game, it was a very defensive game. 
And I said both defenses were dominating. I gave Seattle their credit in this game. It's not like I just. It's not like I. I, I don't know. I gave them. Like if you watch the reaction. I gave them their credit all game. Seattle dominated the majority of the game. Confused golf and made it tough on the Shirley. And your stat about Seattle having the worst pass. The Shirley changed. Check the numbers. Little bruh. Little bruh. Hold up. Hold up. Little bruh. It's still there, bro. I went to ESPN and I went to NFL, bro. But I Rams D was also good. It was close in the first half. As a Seahawks fan, I was low key scared that they were going to play their best because they lost to the Jets. Jordan Brooks, our rookie linebacker, unsung hero. Most stuff. Most stuff. I like Jordan on Madden. I'm not gonna lie. God broke his thumb on a play where Reynolds let himself up, and he's uncertain to play next week. He's uncertain when he plays. <laughs> hey, Derek, that was low key funny. Our defense lit up a bunch of garbage yards. Uh, if you're a Rams fan, I mean, I don't know. It, it, whether it be garbage or not, Seahawks played, Seahawks, Seahawks played a good game. They played a good game. Um, Washington versus Panthers. Uh, I'm a Panthers fan. Love your content. Most def, bro. Most def. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I'm a Cowboys fan, so thank you. Panthers suck. The division coming down. The week 17, get rid of Haskins, hashtag. Top three defense, though. How Carolina scored three touchdowns without CMC with one pressure. Um, I mean, Washington was turning the ball over, bro. You know what I mean? That, that's what it come down to. Come down to. It definitely come down to turnover ratio. Haskins was just released by y'all. I seen that, bro. I did, you, you, well, I did the reaction video already. Haskins needed to go. That's crazy. You you said this, and then he got cut. Hope he get Trey Lance, Curtis Samuel, A Rob. No, I don't know about that. I think Curtis Samuel gonna stay. Um, A Rob, I think he's gonna be on the on, on in the market. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We don't need someone like A Rob too much money. That's yeah. I think A Rob gonna go. He gonna go somewhere else, bro. Like exactly. A Rob gonna he gonna demand some money wherever he go, cause. He know he has that uh that ability to do that even if it's a like a two year contract somebody desperate like I feel like like a um I hope the Texans don't do it like I would love the Texans to get him but I would I would not want them to overpay for him um uh, but I mean he I'm sure he'd love to play with Deshaun Watson but I don't know man we don't need someone like A Rod too much money I prefer Corey Davis I think Corey Davis. It froze up. Okay. Uh, so we don't need someone like A-Rod too much money. I prefer Corey Davis and Justin Simmons. Corey Davis, I think, is staying. And I think Justin Simmons is going to get paid by the Broncos. I'll be real with you. Um, I don't think they're getting any of these guys. And they might. You know what? They might overpay for A-Rod, actually. Actually. You know what? They might actually do it. Because I think he would be a good fit alongside Terry McClellan. I've been saying that in the reaction videos, bro. Terry McLaurin needs a big wide receiver who can make contested catches to offset him because he has a good game and he can make contested catches as as the type of receiver he is. I feel like he's more of a, like um, yards after catch, um, one cut speed type receiver, but he makes contested catches as well. So Haskins literally left as a celebration. But I, th I think that would be good for, for Terry. Eagles, Cowboys, this one went crazy. Man, how you just skip over Cowboys first TD? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I did, bro. For real? For real? Hold up. Uh, Deshaun Jackson scores. Oh, that's tough. How did they score? I don't feel like going to the actual highlight. Let me know, bro. I, yeah, my bad. Didn't even show the first two touchdowns. You're lying, bro. I didn't show the first two touchdowns. You're lying. Yeah. 
What was I on? Ain't no way. That's a touchdown, ain't it? What you mean? How they show their first two touchdowns? I showed one for sure. Wait, wait. Oh, it's 20 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 always a touchdown. Field goal. It was 10. Kicked another field goal, 13. That's a touchdown right there. What you so I'll show I'll show one. My bad, y'all. I don't know what I, I don't know. Like it, maybe I just made an error while editing. I probably I probably chopped it out on accident, if anything. Come on, Eagles. Let Went start next week. Get y'all a little top five pick and let us get the division. That fumble that hurts made. That was a terrible call. Jalen was already down. I know we had a fumble return for touchdown, but the play was dead, even though a whistle was blown when the ball was on the ground. Bad calls with the NMC East that all favored the Cowboys. Riff always, yeah. Cowboys, America's team, you know what I'm saying? He said got him before he even caught the ball. I heard that. I heard that. Hold up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got him on the route. Yeah, yeah, He got him on the route. Yeah. Uh, I remember. That was the, um, the, uh, the play where CD came out the backfield. That was a nice play. That was a nice play. Gravy, let's go, Cowboys. I'm just wondering... What they going to do with Carson? They got to trade him, bro. Brock Osweiler got traded, and he had a what? He had a huge contract. I think his was like seventy-four million. So it it, it could happen somehow, some way. Let's go, Cowboys! Nice video, bro. Appreciate you, Stevie. From the stream yesterday, we had to come back so you get your blue cheese. Appreciate you, my boy. Um, I don't get it on NFL videos though. So any video that has even a clip of a highlight in it, I'm not getting it. So, but I appreciate I appreciate the support, my guy. This, this division crazy. Any video that's not an NFL video, like well, I know I say not an NFL, but any video that doesn't have a clip of an NFL game in it. So every other video, yes. Uh, any highlight videos that I react to, no. Ninety nine point nine percent of the time, no. Cowboys won the game of the Eagles. I'm aware. I'm aware. Did they ban Big Three? Oh, uh, nah, 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 nah. He was cool. He was cool. He just didn't know. Uh, my cargo. <laughs> hey, they might make playoffs, bro. <clears throat> CD Lamb, my favorite, and Amari and Tony Pollard, Dyke Prescott. Ezekiel, not much because he sucks this year. He's still a beast, just having a down year. Um, hmm. he said, sorry, I said it. Zeke, I don't know, bro. I mean, yeah, he's a running back, but I mean, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know, like what to expect looking forward because it's just like it's very up and down. Some games good, some games iffy, you know. I right, got Titans versus the Packers. Uh, Packers. Let's not we passing. Hey, Packers really low key did it all. Like they passed and ran. Like they did it all. This was so surprising. I thought it would be a close game. You're not the only one. But y'all would destroy the Bears if they lose this bad. They only lost 41-25 and they were bad and injured at the time. I'm a Seahawks fan. I don't know what you mean. They so what they beat the Bears 41-25. I'm a little confused as well. Let me check. <clears throat> Bears Packers Uh what's the last when's the last time they played? Okay, I don't feel like looking for it. Um as a Packers fan, try to keep both. That's tough, bro, to keep to keep both. I don't know about that. Like when money coming to it, you know, at the end of the day, it is a business. It is a business, but we'll see how it plays out. Also, on that play, Adams was wide open in the end zone. He started off by being double team, used the move, the safety and corner got turned around at the same time. That man, superior route running, bro. Derrick Henry does reactions. For real? Y'all really thought that? I don't, I don't see it. 
I don't see, maybe I think it's just I think it's just a side, bro. It's just a side angle, bro. Hey, y'all funny though. Y'all funny. <laughs> hey, that's funny. What's up, I bet you two in Twitch stream. Appreciate you, appreciate you, Ken. Go pack, go keep AJ. Keep Aaron and let Jamal Williams go. That probably won't work because Aaron Jones will want a lot more than Jamal, Jamal Williams, definitely. Honestly, I'd rather have Corey Lindsay over both of them. I haven't seen him, so I don't know. If the GM attention is the int intention is to keep Aaron and Corey, then yes, we can afford it for a few cash space. We would have to release Preston. Nah, nah. I, I keep the defense intact over our running back. Hey, no, we are getting better production out of Gary. Mm. I don't know. I, I'd like to keep that defense intact and just build on the defense. Thank you. Someone with some sense. O-line is more important. Like when the last time somebody max contract or running back won the Super Bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up. So Corey Lindsay is a, is a, as a lineman. Okay. Okay. I got you. Got you. Yeah. Hey, whatever you got to do. I think, I think a lineman is more important than a running back as well. Like yard, we already see how good AJ can be. So I, AJ, he has more potential plus cheap rookie contract. Put Williams' money towards Jones' contract next year and let him go. This game was for all. Are you saying Henry was gonna run all over us? Uh, Packers. Let me see Packers run defense. Let me go back. Cause Packers run defense, I don't think is that bad, bro. Like I, and everybody was saying that up leading up to that game, but like, I remember checking their run defense, and they're they're not ranked that bad. Oh, they they're like in the middle. They're like in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they like they're above average run defense, basically. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, they're like. Slightly above average run defense, so they're not bad. They're not bad. Yes, sir. Go pack up fire video and keep up the grind. Appreciate you, my guy. Titans versus rest to number 13. 13 Adam Lazard, Packers fan. Let's go. Finna drop my boy. Ass. Uh, appreciate your chopsticks. Keep AJ, he runs physical. Definitely, I think it's good to have like that duo, like the dynamic of the elusive runner and the physical runner. Appreciate your RP. Keep Jamal Williams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that might be the, the smartest business business decision. Yes, no. Down here on Christmas in Nashville. Okay, for, for sure. I and I remember asking that too. Appreciate you, bro. Packers Super Bowl. Aaron Jones was out, by the way. Huh? Riff was staring at his feet and didn't say nothing. No challenge. Good job upstairs, guys. Titans. Defense is Swiss cheese. They want to go wink. Titans, I don't know, bro. I think they were better last year. I could be wrong, but at least it seemed like it. I said that in the playoffs, it definitely seemed like it. I just like getting like getting beat like that by a playoff team in week 16, like you're going into the playoffs. That's not good. I'll be trying to tell people the Packers weapons aren't bad. They're just young. Everybody outside of Adams and Austin are in their third year or less, plus they have roles in this offense. Maybe that's why the head coach didn't want to draft the receiver. Maybe he liked what they had, you know. I, I like. I felt like they should have drafted one, but you know, maybe he felt how he felt for a reason. Ref screwed us. Plus, defense played terrible. A Jones won't be a Packer unless he takes a huge home deal, but he deserves to get paid. He, I mean, he de he deserves, but yeah, like I don't think I don't think Packers gonna do that. You know what I mean? Like. It's, We'll see. We'll see. That's all I can say. If anything, we can expect AJ Dillon long term. W Williams isn't going anywhere yet. We are set and running back for the next three to four years. AJ over Williams for sure. Looking like a franchise running back, especially because Jones looking for big money next season. I like what old dude said earlier about the um, offensive line because I had no idea that they needed uh, to resign offensive linemen. I think that's a good point to make because. Offensive line is much important than running back, especially when you have a solid running back already. 
So this is the last one, and then we're gonna jump into uh to stats. Um, I remember last week you said Diggs wasn't in your top five. Look, bro, we had this conversation on Twitch already. After that, after I said that, we went and looked at the stats, and I looked at Diggs' production, and I I I took back what I said. So that that's hey hey that's that's over, man. That's over, man. Took back what I said. IDK, what you want me to say? Bills are just good. I watched and liked all of this. Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Just beating pass next week. I don't see that happening, but it's possible. It's possible. Dolphins brought down the past dynasty and Bills finished them off. Y'all really think pass are done? I don't think pass are done, bro. Pats had the most players opt out due to COVID out of all teams. So I think next year, when those players come back, and they, what they won like five or six games this year. You won six games without what roughly eight starters. You know what I mean? So, and you bring those players back, and you add on what you're gonna add on in free agency, and you add on rookies. You know what I mean? So, I think I think they'll come back pretty strong next year. I'm not gonna say they're gonna win the division. I'm not gonna say they're gonna go to the Super Bowl, but I definitely think they uh, I think they could do something. Go Bills. Bills nice, bro. Bills are very nice. Pat Dynasty. No offense man here, but every reaction I see to this game is a black guy rooting for Cam. Josh Allen is what Cam wishes he could be. Why not just recognize insane athletic talent, period. Cam got lucky with a defense one year. He wasn't ever a game breaker. Wait, what? And now he's an old part. First of all, bro, if you go and watch... I did a reaction video to Josh Allen highlights the past two years, bro. I've been saying, and if you watch me reacting to the Bills highlights, I the old Bills highlights from when Josh Allen was a rookie, been rooting for Josh, been said Josh is one of. I, I didn't say it all of that already, bro. So that that, that don't that don't fly over here. But you said no offense, so no offense taken. But I'm still a Cam fan. I'm a Josh Allen fan, but I'm still a Cam fan. So I think I think he's in a situation with Bill Belichick. It could work out, and it could still work out. I know it didn't this season, but like I said, they they missed the most players. You know what I mean? Five forty eight, perfect example, good throw. Uh. All right, the throw. Hey, you got me there. The throw was trash, but it. I think if I'm looking at my head from where I was at that point in time, I'm looking at the fact that Cam just evaded this sack, stepped up in a pocket, and he made a nice throw. Now, now the accuracy of it. That yeah. It was a, it was it, it literally hit the ground, so it wasn't a good throw. But I'm looking at the totality of the play. Uh, but looking at it, I don't remember noticing that it hit the ground until right now. So you pointed that out, so appreciate it. But it was just the whole to like the totality of the play. Like, mm. I like I said, I'm still I'm, I'm still a Cam fan regardless, bro. But I, I I got you, I got you, I got you. Bills versus Saints in the Super Bowl. That would be such a weird Super Bowl to me. Because in my head, I see Packers and Chiefs. That's just what I see. I see Packers and Chiefs. Didn't Packers and Chiefs win like the first couple Super Bowls? Or something like that? Could be wrong. But And I think that would be super. Like I think that's just super good for, for TV. And it's going to bring a lot of money because those are two extremely well-known teams. Extremely well-known. Bills not well known. Saints well known, but not more than the Packers or Chiefs. I say that, but Saints and Bucks NFC Championship. So the you so you so you saying the Packers not even making it to the NFC Championship, bro? Bills not beating the Chiefs. They hot right now. Chiefs are not at the end of the day. I yeah, I still take the Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. But that's that. Um, we're going to jump into, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we got player stats first. I like the ESPN look better. I'm not going to lie. 
because they got like the top five. If I, if I, you know, what I'm saying? if I feel like looking at the full list, I'll come back to it. NFL player stats. That leaders here we go ESPN all right so Pat Mahomes Deshaun Watson bro like what do you what are you doing at number two everybody be like and they be saying this in the Twitch chat Deshaun Watson needs a uh, uh, a receiver like DeAndre Hopkins look what he doing without D Hop you feel me and they got a losing record at that it, it's not even I, I like I keep it real bro it's not even D Hop it's the defense. And it's the play calling. It's not the it's not the fact that we're missing a receiver. I mean, it it would be nice to have him, but like without him, he's spreading the ball around way more. Way more, bro. It's not just throw it up to D hop no more, which he would do a lot. But that's because he had the luxury to do so. But he spreads it out way more. Um, so I think the next time he does get a really top tier receiver like that. It won't be spam. It's it might be a little bit because you know you got to take advantage of your matchups, but you know we'll see. Josh Allen doing his thing. Top, hey, this top three right here look nice. The top three look nice. Matt Ryan and Tom Brady. I ain't know Tom was up there. At least if he was, I forgot. Derrick Henry. About a about a two hundred yard lead. I think Dalvin Cook missed last game, right? But uh, geez, look at that. And then look at number three to Derrick Henry. This man killing it, bro. David Montgomery, Aaron Jones, James Robinson. You know, I look, he want to see the uh, rushing. Because I want to see who all got a 1,000. Oh, wow. Oh, that's it for a 1,000. Wow. Zeke close. Zeke, Zeke close. Jonathan, T Jonathan, why Jonathan Taylor up there? Hey, all right. Okay, Stephon Diggs leading the league in receiving yards. Kelsey Hopkins, Devontae Calvin, really? Wow. I think that's his first time getting up there. Uh, Zach Cunningham leading tackles, if this is correct. Jalen Smith, Blake Martinez, Devin White, Roquan Smith, TJ Watt, and Sacks. I think uh, TJ Watt is actually leading for defensive player of the year right now. Uh, that's like what I just checked on stream the other day. So TJ's leading and Aaron Donald is number two. So we'll see. Hassan Reddick boosted himself up with that five sack game. So, you know, that boy looking, boy looking nice. So Darius Smith, Trey Hendrickson still up there. Xavier still sitting at nine. JC still sitting at eight. Tyron went up to six. I remember when Tyron was at four. I think he had a I think he had a game with two interceptions. That's what I think really boosted him up. Quandre up there. Quandre definitely be making plays this year. Harrison Smith up there. Well, Harrison, bro. Still a top tier safety. Team stats, Kansas City Chiefs. Best offense in the league. Titans at five. I remember they were saying Titans best offense in the league, but stats don't mean nothing at times. Cardinals don't mean nothing, bro. I mean, I see it, but realistically, like best. I see. I say the Chiefs best offense. Packers up there. Bills definitely up there. Um, and this is like not looking at numbers, but like who would I take over the Cardinals and the Titans? I'll take the Saints. Um who else that's not on here? That's a good offense. Mm, I can't think off top of the head. Let me see. Mm, Buccaneers. I'll take Buccaneers. I'll take Colts. I, I would say Texans, but that would be being biased. It really would. But Falcons. It is what it is, though, bro. It is what it is. I ain't going to feed too much into it. I ain't, I ain't trying to hit on nobody's team. Um, Passing Chiefs, Bills, Bucks, Texans, Falcons. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, and I said Falcons. And I said Texans. I saw, that wouldn't be being biased, then. And I said Bills. Like a Bills already up there. Oh, I said Bucks too. See, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't even I didn't even peep that when I said that. Um 
Ravens, Titans, Cardinals, Browns, Patriots. I'm sure Vikings is down here somewhere. These have been the same all year, bro. Literally all year. Um, Best defense, Rams, Steelers, Saints, Washington, 49ers. This generally been the same all year. It's been teams in and out, in and out. Saints kind of boosted themselves up later in the season, but it's been pretty much the same all year. This as well. Steelers, Rams, Bucks, Eagles, Cardinals, for the most part, been the same. It's it's somebody in here that fell. Washington, that's what it was, Washington. But it's been pretty much the same for the most part. Uh, Miami was up there for, for a good stint. Uh, turnover differential, Titans number one, Dolphins, Colts, Steelers, and Chiefs. And, you know, maybe that's why they keep Tua in there because he doesn't turn the ball over. So, like, all right, Tua, we will keep you in the game. You don't turn the ball over. And then we'll put Fitz, Fitzpatrick in at the end. So, if he does, he does. But we know we manage the game with you for the most part. So, I don't know. Possible, possible. Uh, let's see. All right. No, I ain't much ain't much really else for me to, for me to look at, y'all. At least not that I could think of. So. Mm-mm. I ended here. Uh, see passing. Yeah, I ain't got much. I ain't got much to say. We're gonna end it here. I feel like it's something I'm forgetting because I think I did something extra last week. But yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. You done messed up, AA Ron. Yeah. Hey, Hall, man amongst boys, I walk with the Lord, gotta be careful what you say because your tongue is a sword, why you speaking what I think and ain't no...